Hello and welcome back. Today we have a review of the iconic Lamy Safari as I drop it. Um, this was my very first fountain pen as it probably is or will be for you. Uh, it's a fantastic pen. It writes incredibly and it's under, I believe it was $25, give or take. So it's a very affordable pen. So let's talk about it, shall we? There's not much to say about the outside. A very interesting clip, which I do like. It's, you know, relatively springy, rather firm. That's contradiction. It's kind of springy, but still firm. Um, you can clip it on stuff. I wouldn't clip it on stuff. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, you come back on one side, you have the Lamy logo embossed into the plastic. Other side, you have nothing. You see it's round with two flat sides that taper out into being completely round right before the section. Section also plastic, same plastic as the rest of the pen. Onto your nib, which is removable and replaceable, as well as your feed, which is also removable and replaceable. Before we look at that, let's talk about the clip. Um, this is my third Lamy Safari in red. The first one, the clip, managed to it pulled out here and it was you know it ended up looking somewhat like that let's get it so the camera can see that something like that all the time it bent i had it in my pocket for less than a day and it managed to bend like that amazon with their amazing customer service immediately sent me out a replacement so then we had number two um again not being a smart person i kept it in my pocket um, one day I was sitting, well I should also mention I kept it in my pocket and I learned very early on that you should not do that because it, this was in my pocket. I sat down, I took a, a road trip and I got out at my destination and I had it inked up with uh, this pilot Roshizuku Yamabuto. So it's a nice uh, you know, purpley pink ink. And I was wearing khaki pants. I got out of the car and I had this beautiful red stain on the side of my pants. So if you can't figure it out already, it had come uncapped in my pocket. So I didn't learn my lesson that time. And I continued to keep it in my pocket. And then the reason for my third pen is because I had it in my pocket one day. And you know, went about my day sitting, standing, whatever I was doing. Then when I got home, I reached in my pocket to get my pen and all that was in my pocket was that. Cap was nowhere to be found, so I had lost it somewhere in the day. This time I had blue ink and blue jeans on, so it wasn't noticeable from the outside, which was fortunate for me. Less fortunate for me was that caps cannot be found. You can get them from Lamy directly through Filofax for $25. The pen I actually got for less than 25 it was probably 20 and change from Amazon with free shipping. So I wasn't about to pay for a new cap for more than the price of the entire pen. So after a while, figuring out, I actually got the, I have it somewhere. I tried getting the Hero, I believe it's a Hero 359 or something. It's a Lamy knockoff. So you see, the difference is that it's... It's three quarter round, you have one flat spot versus the two. Um, the Hero itself is not a bad pen, I'm not reviewing this, but it's not a bad pen if you're looking, it's about half the price, but you have the same problem I ended up with the clip because again, I still kept it in my pocket. So that's about the, the problem that happens all the time for me, so don't keep it in your pocket. Anyway, that cap fit. But that happened, so I'm like, done, I'll just buy another one. So here we have Lamy Safari number three in extra fine. Looking inside the pen, section unscrews. You can either use a converter or um, Lamy specific cartridges. The nib is a you know, steel nib. Here I have extra fine, but I cannot see. Do, 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 in focus. There we go. So you see Lamy, extra fine. 
I like it. It's nice and fine. Um, it's like a Japanese fine. Um, works really nice. Buttery smooth. I'm happy with it. The nib is removable for cleaning. So is the feed, and I'll show you that. Oh, so one nice thing about having to buy another one is now I have a, you know, a uh, spare parts pen, if you will. So here, my original one was a fine, so there's really no need to show you this, but why not? There you see the fine with the Lamy. The nib, you can do scotch tape, or mine is loose at this point, so the nib just comes right off. This is replaceable. You can buy, you know, different sizes and whatnot. You know, for the feed in the section. The first time that you do this, it's going to be very difficult. You might get a piece of uh, inner tube or some sort of rubber or grip stuff, but just grab it as close to the end as you can get. Pinch rather hard. I don't even know if I'll be able to do it now. Alright. So you pinch it rather hard. I had to use a piece of towel there, and the feed does pull out. Uh, standard feed that and then when you put it back in it only fits one way so you can find that figure it out I can get it in That's what she and then clicks right back in and it slides right on so I like that a lot it's very easy to clean very easy to keep clean um, I don't like this this is for your ink window and your uh, Converter has these little teeth on it. Uh, that, yeah, it does come out. So you can it keys in right there. And the reason I don't like that is if you uh, if you have a, a bulb syringe or anything, you can't really put it there because you have all this outlet. You know, if you shoot it in there, you can figure it out. If you shoot it in there, you know, water's going to come out here and set out the nib. So what you end up having to do is like wedge the the bulb over. Oh, that's nice. Wedge the bulb over the whole section, and you know you risk bending these, and I these, and I I, I don't. That's the one thing I really hate about the pen. But the ink window is cool, and it makes up for it. So teach their own, I guess. So you have that's my non-filled one. There's that one. So Lamy Safari, I know when I was looking into them, there were a few reviews, um, negative reviews on YouTube. Um, you know, both against this and the Pilot Metropolitan. I don't really know why. I guess people people that can afford it can get these five, six hundred dollar pens that write amazingly, and then compare that to a Lamy Safari, and it's kind of hard. But for those of us that can't really push the push past like a hundred dollar limit you know these pens are really nice so this comes from I mean the same company you get the Lamy 2000 which is a hundred fifty dollar pen which is a fantastic pen Lamy Studio all that stuff um, it's their lower end pen but it's not lower quality it's a very nice quality pen um, I would buy it I don't know if I would buy it again I definitely won't buy the All Star I don't like it that much also the triangular section. I figure I should mention that. So if you don't hold your pen as they teach in today's schools, you might have trouble. Obviously triangular grip, so I don't know. Some people have some funky hand grips. I remember one kid I went to school who wrote like that. I don't know if that's <laughs> probably not anymore, but if anyone out there has some funky grip that might interfere with that, um, that's there. Um, yeah, so would I buy it again? Yeah. Would I? I would definitely not get the All Star. Um, I don't like the pen that much to get a more expensive version, to get the aluminum one. Um, I probably wouldn't, if I had the money to get another pen, I wouldn't jump to this. But as you see, I did replace it, so I'm glad having one. I don't know if I'd want more than one, put it that way. Um, but it is a great, it's a wonderful starter pen. Um, I've been very happy with that. I use it almost daily. Lamy Safari, why not? So, 
Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go to a writing sample right now. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a writing sample. Um, so I'll say goodbye now. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. Um, i got a few other reviews that I'm planning on. And, um, yeah, have a good one, guys. And here's a quick writing sample for Lamy Safari. Um, like I said, this is a, an extra fine nib. As you can see there, the Lamy Extra Fine. I have this inked up with some Base Date Blue. Um, no comments on the ink choice, please. I, yeah. It is Base Date Blue. I do like it. I do use it. That's all we're going to say about that. Lamy Safari. That has our Extra Fine nib. So I find that to be a nice fine nib, um, it's a true fine in my opinion. Um, let's do a quick comparison. I have some here. It's a Bic crystal, standard Bic crystal. I don't even know if it writes. Bic crystal thickness. Uh, da -da -da. What else do I got? I have. Here we got our pilot, pilot medium nib here. So you can see not much difference between the extra fine Safari and the medium pilot. So I mean there in action you can see the difference between the European versus the Japanese nib sizing. Um, anyway, it's a super fine not super fine, super smooth nib, decently fine. Um, highly recommend it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.